Today, we will be talking about communication breakdown. And later on, I will give you some 5 tips on how to avoid it. Communication is a process of sending or receiving messages through verbal or non-verbal means. It is a Latin word which means to share. It's the sharing of information between different individuals, which could be the sender or the receiver. The sender is the one responsible for the sending of messages to the receiver and is also known as the encoder. And the receiver which is the one to whom the message is being directed. It is also known as the decoder, who gives its feedback or response. Since communication is a process, it also has its breaking point, which is now called the communication breakdown. So what is communication breakdown? Communication breakdown is defined as the failure to exchange information, resulting to lack of communication. This happens because of the different barriers that are encountered upon the interaction of the individuals. First, we have the physical barrier. Physical barrier occurs within the environment. For example, people talking outside with loud noise the blaring of horns of cars, jeepneys, or trucks, noise from a construction site, or the noise coming from the karaoke. For the second one, we have the psychological barrier. Psychological barrier is also known as the mental barrier. Under psychological barrier, we have the trauma, stress, anxiety, depression, and fear. The third one is the cultural barrier. It pertains to the different perception of beliefs, traditions, and intrinsic values that may vary depending on their culture. Cultural barriers examples are the way of dressing, their speaking, their traditions and customs, and their different beliefs. Fourth one is the linguistic barrier. Linguistic barrier pertains to the conflict between the language and word meanings. Many symbols and words are different depending on the culture itself. Examples of linguistic barriers are first, the difference in language, two, the use of jargon or slang, third one is the accent or the dialect, and the last one is speech defects or language impairments. Werner Brew 1991 classifies noise into three kinds. We have the external noise, the internal, and the semantic noises. External noises are the sight, sound, or other stimuli that draw people's attention to the intended meaning. While internal noises are the thoughts and feelings that interfere with meaning. On the other hand, semantic noises are the alternate meanings aroused by a speaker's symbols. Number one, be open for different opinions. For number two, we have ask your audience or receiver if the message you sent is clear and understandable. Number three, you must pay attention and listen attentively. And the fourth one, we have respect. And lastly, we have to speak and stand confidently and maintain eye contact. I am Nicole Ramos de Vera from 11 STEM 1. I hope you learned something about my five ways on how to avoid communication breakdown. See you on my next vlog. Bye. Thank you for watching.